at 5.30. Redistricting. It sure is a controversial topic, and today three groups are calling for an amendment on November's ballot. Good evening again. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. It would take the power away from the politicians and put it into the hands of you, the citizen. Anthony Kiko live with why the groups say redistricting as it stands now is unfair. Anthony? Mark Michelle, every 10 years the state changes legislative and U.S. House district boundaries to reflect population changes. It allows politicians to essentially pick who votes in each race. Voters First wants to change that, and the League of Women Voters is supporting the effort. Voters First! Members of Voters First, a newly formed group, gather at Courthouse Square to voice their frustrations with redistricting. In Ohio, the hyperpartisan attitude of our current system enables and emboldens an incumbent party to callously draw district lines that are overwhelmingly in favor of one political party over another. In other words, allows politicians to consciously choose their voters rather than allowing voters to choose their representatives. They're circulating a petition to get an amendment on November's ballot. We propose an amendment that will create an independent citizens commission that will put citizens in control of drawing the legislative lines. Politicians and lobbyists will not be allowed to be part of the nonpartisan commission. Voters First says the commission will be made of Ohio citizens instead of politicians. It will be nonpartisan, and all the meetings will be open to the public. It doesn't matter about your political party because it's, it's about voting rights for everyone. One party is in charge now. In a few years, another party may be in charge. We need to fix this so that it is always fair for every citizen. We Are Ohio, the group some credit with defeating Ohio's recent collective bargaining bill, is supporting the effort. So are people like Jamie Faint, a Marine. This is a very important issue that is very dear to us all because, uh, you know, the politicians are picking their own people that they want to vote for them, and it's got nothing to do with the people. This is not about the people. At the end of 2012, Ohio will lose its third congressional district as a result of redistricting, something Jamie says is unfair. It's just the politicians wanting to take over, make our decisions for us, and we're, we're, we're going to lose our say in anything. Now, Voters First will have to get more than 380,000 signatures by July to get an amendment on November's ballot. Reporting live, Anthony Kiko, 2 News.